Question 3, paper 2, November 2020. Triangle TSK is drawn. The equation of ST is y is equal to a half x plus 6 and ST cuts the x axis at m. W, negative 4 and 4 lies on ST and R lies on SK such that WR is parallel to the y axis. WK cuts the x axis at V and the y axis at P. KS is produced to cut the x axis at N and angle TSK is equal to theta. So we are given the equation of ST is Y is equal to a half X plus 6. ST cuts the X axis at M. And then W negative 4, 4 lies on ST. And R lies on SK such that WR is parallel to the Y axis. WK cuts the X axis at V and the y axis is p0 and negative 4 and ks is produced to n so this line is extended up until n and this angle is theta 3.1 calculate the gradient of wp so we have wp we have two coordinates so we can simply find the gradient so the gradient is the difference of y's over the difference of x's. So the y's must be at the top and the x's at the bottom. And the order does matter. If I substitute um, the y coordinate of w first, then I need to substitute the x coordinate of w first in the denominator. So it will be 4 minus minus 4 over negative 4 minus 0 and if I simplify that is 8 over negative 4 which becomes negative 2 the next question show that WP is perpendicular to ST so we have the gradient of WP that is equals to negative 2 and the gradient of ST T is a half and in the straight line formula the coefficient in front of the X is the gradient so the gradient of ST is equals to a half and if I multiply the gradient of WP with the gradient of ST I have negative 2 times a half which is equals to negative 1 and if you multiply two gradients that are equal to negative 1, then we know that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. 3.3 If the equation of SK is given as 5y plus 2x plus 60 equal to 0, calculate the coordinates of S. So we want to find the coordinates of S. We already have the equation of ST. And we are given that the equation of SK is 5y plus 2x plus 60 equal to 0. So we have two equations and that's enough information for us to solve x and y simultaneously. So we have y is equals to a half x plus 6 and we have 5y plus 2x plus 60 equal to 0. Now what I can do is I can replace y in the second equation with a half x plus 6. So 5 times a half x plus 6 plus 2x plus 60 is equal to 0. And if I multiply out, I have 5 over 2x plus 30 plus 2x plus 60 equal to 0 now I can add up like terms so I'll have 2 and a half plus 2x so that is 4 and a half x 
and then 30 plus 60, so that is 90. And then I can solve x. So it's 4.5x equals to negative 90. Therefore, I can find x by dividing both sides by 4.5. So x will be negative 20. And we have y is equals to a half x, which is negative 20 plus 6. So y would be equals to negative 4. Therefore, the coordinates of s is negative 20 and negative 4. 3.4. Calculate the length of wr. So we have w as negative 4 and 4. And we can see that r is on this line parallel to the y-axis. That means r's x-coordinate would be negative 4. And we can find the y value by using this equation of the straight line because r lies on the point of sk. So to find point r, I need to use 5y plus 2x plus 60 equal to 0. And we replace x with negative 4. Notice the negative 4 is in brackets because I need to multiply out. So that will be 5y minus 8 plus 60, which is 5y plus 52 equal to 0. Therefore, the y value would be negative 52 because I transpose the 52 and it becomes negative. And then I divide by 5. So negative 52 over 5. Therefore, R's coordinate would be negative 4 and negative 52 over 5. And we have W as negative 4 and 4. Now the length of WR would be the difference in Y values because there is no difference in X's. So that is 0. So therefore, wr is equals to 4, which is the y value of w, minus the y value of r, which is 14 and 2 over 5 units. So if you want to see that graphically, the length of this line, wr, because it's parallel to the y-axis, is simply the difference between the y values. 3.5, calculate the size of theta. So we want to find the size of angle theta. And here we can see we are given that this angle between S and K is beta. And we have enough information to find the angle of inclination of the line ST because we have that gradient of a half. So in order for us to find theta, we can use this triangle and solve theta with exterior angles is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So we can find beta and use angles on the straight line to find the angle M in S. And we can use the angle of inclination to find angle N M S as well. So first, let's find the angle size of beta. So beta is on the line 5y plus 2x plus 60. And if I rewrite this in standard form, I have... 5y is equals to negative 2x minus 60. And if I divide both sides by 5, it's negative 2 over 5x minus 12. So the gradient of this line is negative 2 over 5. And that will help me to find the angle of beta. So the gradient of line nk is equals to negative 2 over 5. So 
my reference angle would be a reciprocal function of tan and to find reference angles we always use positive values within our substitution so first off I'll clear my calculator because it's still in statistics mode from our previous question and then I'll say shift tan and then 2 over 5 so my reference angle is 21.8 degrees therefore beta is 180 degrees minus 21.8 degrees which is equals to 158.2 degrees so beta is 158.2 degrees therefore the angle MNS is 21.8 degrees and my reason would be angles on a straight line therefore MNS is equal to 21.8 degrees angles on a straight line next I can find the angle of inclination here I know that the gradient is equal to a half so I can find the angle of TMV so the gradient of line ST is equal to a half therefore the angle TMV is equal to the reciprocal function of tan so that will be shift tan and a half that is equal to 26.57 degrees so this angle is 26.57 degrees therefore NMS is equal to 26.57 degrees and my reason is vertically opposite angles and now we can find theta theta would be 21.8 plus 26.57 degrees exterior angle of a triangle so theta is equal to 21.8 degrees plus 26.57 degrees reason exterior angle of a triangle which is 48.37 degrees 3.6 let L be a point in the third quadrant such that SWRL in that order forms a parallelogram calculate the area of SWRL so what I've drawn is I've drawn a rough position of L and I say that SWRL is a parallelogram in that order and what I know is that I found the size of theta which was 48.37 degrees so SR would be a diagonal of the parallelogram that means if I if I can find the area of this triangle and I multiply that by 2 it will be the area of the parallelogram and I have enough information to find the area of this triangle I can use these coordinates to find the length of WS and I can find the length of SR and then I use the area rule as found on the formula sheet with sine to find the area of this triangle so to find the length of SW I have S is negative 20 and negative 4 W is negative 4 and 4 and I use the distance formula on the formula sheet so SW would be equal to negative 20 plus 4 squared plus negative 4 minus 4 squared in a square root and on my calculator I find this is 8 square root 5 then I want to find the length of SR so we have R as negative 4 and negative 52 over 5 so the length of SR would be negative 20 plus 4 squared plus negative 4 plus 52 over 5 squared in a square root and this answer would be 
16 square root 29 over 5. Now the reason why I don't use decimal values is because I would lose some accuracy if I take the decimal value and round off to two decimal places. And we have theta as 48.37 degrees. Therefore, the area of triangle SWR is half of SW times SR sine theta. So the area of this triangle colored in pink would be a half SW then SR times the sine of theta. Therefore, the area of the parallelogram SWRL would be 2 times a half of SW SR sine theta. And then we simply have SW times SR times the sine of theta as the area of the parallelogram. That is equals to 8 square root 5 times 16 square root 29 over 5 sine of 48.37 degrees which is 230.41 units squared.